Good day to all my respected guests, business partners, and family members all around the world. My name is Sam. Welcome everyone to today's iElite System online course with the topic of steps of using iTerra Care. And I'd like to take this opportunity to appreciate Private International and iElite System for leading us to have better health and better wealth. And our speaker for today, he's actually having the background of physical education, sports science, health and awareness. Please welcome iTerra Care Product Advisor, Mr. Soma Sundram. Good evening, Mr. Sam. Thank you. Uh, good evening and good day to all our respected guests. Welcome again to another sharing of iTerra Care. But today we shall see how to use the iTerra Care to maximize uh, the use of it. All right. With that, we shall start. Now, first of all, I'm Soma from Malaysia. Today we shall see how to use the iTerra Care lower device. Now, first, before we start, I would like to again uh, impress upon each and everyone here uh, that, uh, uh, what do you call that? This logo is of importance, all right? This logo is of importance uh, because uh, what's happening now is lots of people are trying to ride on the popularity of iTerra Care. They find that it is helping lots of people all around the world and uh, we wouldn't want uh, any member or any uh, newcomers to be cheated, all right? Now, I'll show you why. Now, if you look at this, now this looks almost exactly the same, all right? It looks very similar. They even have put the logo of the manufacturer, all right? So the manufacturers have been informed and uh, they will be at, uh, looking into it and taking action. And even the pro, if you look at it, they have tried to come up with something similar. Now, what happens when you buy these devices? Okay, first of all, you are not going to get the warranty. Although they are cheaper, you're not going to get the warranty. And if anything goes wrong with these devices, now there is no avenue for you to uh, get it rectified. All right, because the company does not hold any responsibility. And also, together with that, uh, with Pride International, you are getting a business to go with the device, whether you wish, wish to do it or not. All right, and uh, with the other devices, uh, you're only going to get the device and nothing more. All right, so this is just to remind our respected guests and to all the others who may be wondering, because that recently there's been a big spate of questions calling in, uh, asking about these devices. So uh, we take it upon us to inform that uh, you can buy them, but the responsi responsibility is entirely yours, all right? Prive International will not be responsible. Right, with that, we shall start. Now, first of all, when you have the, uh, the devices, I'm sure most of you already have the devices, the iTerra Care Classic and also the iTerra Pro. Now, what is important is when you start using it, try to blow it on yourself, by yourself, all right? Because you can feel and control the heat penetration better, all right? You will know as to how far from your skin, from your body, you should be holding it. And if you're also giving it to someone, you're treating someone, try to give it to them uh, if they can hold it and tell them this is the way you use. Uh, try to see as how close you can bring it where you're comfortable and use it on themselves. Teach them. So then uh, the thing goes a long way, right? Now, if you're going to do for them, then they're going to be expecting you to do it for them every time, all right? And uh, when they do it themselves, they get a very good feel. They know exactly where the pain is and they know where they should be pointing to and things get better, all right? Now, if possible, try to blow directly onto the skin if you can. And if you cannot, uh, you can also blow while wearing clothes. It shouldn't be a problem because uh, the terahertz energy penetrates clothing. But uh, then again, uh, most people will tell you that uh, blowing directly on the skin gives a better feel. Uh, it's not that it doesn't penetrate, but it gives a better feel. Now, believe in the iTerra Care device and believe that your body will be healthy again. 
Uh, many people are quite skeptical. Now, this, is, this looks like a blower. Is this going to work? So you're already starting on the uh, negative, all right? Now, be positive. Believe that this is going to do you something. Learn about the technology. Learn how it works on you. Why is it, why it is helping you physiologically, all right? And you will understand why things are happening and you will trust in the device. When you have that trust, your body believes in the device and it reacts, responds positively. And before you start, if you need to do a prayer, do a prayer, take a breath and say in your heart, gone, gone, gone. Disease is going, disease is gone. Welcome health, all right? The body responds, all right? The body actually responds. Try some time and you will find what's happening, right? So believe in the device and uh, prepare your body that uh, it is going to go off, the disease is going to go and health is going to come. Now enjoy the blowing process. You must be patient, giving your body time to recover, all right? Give a chance to the problems you have accumulated over the years to slowly heal and allow time for your cells to return to normal, all right? Now, over the years, uh, you have uh, collected the disease, uh, using the word collected, uh, over a period of time. Now, if you are going to use it, it's not going to just come off after blowing once, all right? So you have to be uh, patient and uh, give your body time to get rid of whatever is unwanted, all right? Give a chance for all the problems you have accumulated to slowly, uh, get be, be get got rid of uh, from the body, and when the blood cells are healthy and the blood circulation improves, it can carry more oxygen and nutrients to the other cells effectively, thus removing more toxins and waste and damaged and dead cells. Right. So now your body needs to clear whatever is unwanted. Okay. Health is natural. Disease is unnatural, right? So when you're diseased, you'll have lots of toxins and waste, and those need to be removed. And when the body is recovering, it will start remo removing more and more toxins and waste from your body and your tissues, right? So you have to give time for that to be clear. So do not expect it to happen overnight. When the cells become healthy, the tissues in the body become healthy. The organs in the body become active again, and the nervous system becomes unblocked. The organs have a chance to be reactivated and return to normal and function effectively. And a lot of pain relief will be felt. Right? And this takes a little bit of time, depending on how chronic you are. So what you need to do is you need to be patient. And it is better if you can drink one or two cups of warm water and uh, uh, before and after blowing. Now, why people ask, why do you drink before and after? Now, what happens is when you drink that water, the water is inside your body in the tissues. And when you blow the device, it works on the water which is there. And there is more water, then more water is going to be uh, going into your cells uh, and uh, they're going to carry the energy which the cells need. And after blowing, you're going to drink them so that you're going to clear whatever is going to be removed, the toxins and the waste, all right? It will help you to clear them. So uh, drink that water and it will help you. Now, each time you blow, preferably if there is time, blow the five main points of the chakra or reflexology. The five lymph nodes and the two main meridians first. Then blow on the affected areas. The therapy will be more effective. All right. Again, if you have time, all right, each time you blow, if you start with the chakras, the lymph nodes and the meridians, then to the affected areas, definitely the therapy, therapy will be more effective. But if you do not have time, jump to the affected areas immediately. Now, do not cool the body for several hours after therapy. 
and it is best not to eat cold foods and avoid bathing. The reason being is you know, using this therapy is getting your circulation going, uh, you're slightly warmed up, circulation probably has improved and the blood, blood is being pumped all over your body. And then when you bathe, it's going to slow things down. It's going to cool things down. The blood vessels probably will be slightly constricted, right? taking less blood around, around your body. All right? So for that reason, uh, if you need to bathe, bathe before the therapy. Bathe, then do your therapy. All right? Now the next thing is, during the therapy or after therapy, you can use a fan or air conditioner, but do not let it be too cold or direct the air directly to your body. Now, many people have been saying, when you use this device, you must not use the fan or you must not use the air conditioner. I do not blame them, but uh, the concept here is, uh, do not be too cold, which means that, you know, there are countries where it's so humid and hot, and you cannot stay in the house without the fan or air conditioner. So there's nothing wrong with setting the fan or air conditioner to normal, and you, your, 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 the temperature is uh, comfort, comfortable for you, all right? Of course, do not make it too cold. When you make it too cold, then you run into problems. Imagine in uh, cold countries, uh, you cannot run away. From the cold climate, right? So the idea here is that it doesn't get too cold, but you can use the fan or air conditioner to maintain room temperature so that you don't get too hot inside, right? And uh, make sure you understand the things to watch out for and the precautions during the therapy, right? Make sure you're in a comfortable place and uh, the person who is getting treated is sitting comfortably, and it's not rushing into things. And I uh, you know some people, they just before they're going to work, they're quite stressed, but at the same time, they still want to blow. Now uh, that is uh, definitely uh, not very good. Now uh, when you come back home, after your bath, and then probably when you're sitting down, you're comfortable, relaxed, all right? So that'll be a better time to blow. And uh, the other things are, don't stretch the wire, and uh, what do you call that? The comfort of the person uh, using the blower is of paramount importance, right? And uh, there is a possibility of the occurrence of a healing reaction after therapy, and it is not a side effect, right? It is definitely not a side effect. A side effects are something which is more permanent, whereas this healing reaction is temporary, right? Now, meaning that uh, things might get worse temporarily before they become better. Now, this is a healing crisis, right? Healing reaction, okay? Now, what's happening is basically what, whatever is unwanted by the body. As I said earlier, disease is unnatural. Whatever is unnatural in the body, it'll try to get rid of. So, during that time, you're going to see the readings going haywire, going higher, and then the pain may increase a bit. Uh, even the last few days, people have been calling in saying that the pain has increased. So all these things are healing reactions. If you bear with them for a few days. Now, there are three things you can do. Now, first of all is you can't bear the pain. Stop. Now, the second thing is if it's too painful, if it is painful, uh, lessen the blowing uh, to the, the frequency of the blowing and uh, do it over a longer time. But the third one is just bear with the pain and you get over it much faster, all right? So these are three things which you can do. And again, it is not a side effect. Now, if you wish to call it a side effect, that only one side effect which I've seen, everyone so far has been improving, if you call that a side effect, right? And I have been asking lots of people, please name me one negative effect you've got from this. Besides the healing crisis, no one has ever given one, all right? So this uh, device is definitely safe and harmless, but it's working wonders. Now, all of the above are recommendations and guidelines. Now, importantly, please make your own assessment for each case or issue. 
as each case or issue is different from person to person. Now, there are no two people who are the same. So what you do for A, it may not be the same for B. Now, if you have a person, two people with diabetes, now the first person may be a bit more chronic and he might have some other complication coming together with him. So always ask them, what, what are you suffering from? What are the other problems you are having? And uh, that might give you a guide as to how to assess them and also give the proper treatment. Know the problem, know the issue, know what you have to do for them and you're definitely going to help them, all right? And uh, most important, do it with love, compassion and kindness. The body listens, feels and responds. Now, if you're going to do for somebody, do not think of it as some duty, some work which you're doing, a job which you're doing, just so that you can get it over with. Uh, give some love. Think of the person as somebody who needs help and uh, have some compassion for them. It's definitely going to work. I imagine uh, you ask many men out there uh, about, about the food they eat. They are going to tell you my mother's food was the best. All right, my mother's food was the best. Of course, ladies, uh, later they come to say that my wife's food is also good. All right. Now, why do they say that the mother's food is the best? And the mother prepares food. She prepares it with love. All right. For the husband, for the children, huh? with so much love that the food tastes extra special. The same food which you are going to eat elsewhere, but it tastes so much better at home because of the love and they prepare it. All right. Now, similarly, uh, if you look at a food, if you scold food, uh, they, 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 they become bad much faster. But if you, kind, if you have kind words for them, they last longer before they turn bad. All right? They react. Now, if food and even plants react to that, some people uh, talk to the plants, they find that flowers which are not blossoming well start blossoming better. All right? So if plants and food can show that, why not people, all right? They're definitely going to show a better response, okay? So now when you do it, have some love and compassion and some kindness, okay? And uh, now we are going to focus on certain things and this is if you have time. First of all, the five points of chakra or reflexology, right? Now we shall just look at how we are going to blow uh, when we, we wish to blow, whether it's for us or somebody else. Now, first we can start with the five points for chakra or reflexology, and then we can go to the lymphatic points, and then we can go on to the main meridian channels, all right? And then finally go to the affected areas. If you do this way, then the affected areas can be treated even better, right? React even better, all right? Now, if you do not have time and you are sort of like rushing, what do you do? You go straight to the affected areas, all right? Leave the rest for later, okay? Now, basically, the rest, uh, we are just going to improve our entire body, uh, give some, uh, I mean, activate them and so that they perform better. Now, what is of prime concern here are the effect affected areas, right? So if you do not have time, go straight to the affected areas. Now, how much time would you want to spend on each area of blowing? Whether it's if you have time or you do not have time. Now, if you look at the five points for chakra or reflexology, you might want to do five minutes for each point. And many people are going to ask, I thought that you mentioned uh, to blow for 20 minutes minimum. Now, why five minutes? Now, if you look at this, these are not the areas where they're affected, all right? They're not affected. The affected areas need more time to have some, uh, some uh, effect on them, all right? So five minutes here is to activate them, all right? So then we go to the five lymphatic points. Also, five minutes each point, if you have the time. And then you go to the main meridian channels, five minutes each channel to activate them. All right, 
when you come to the affected areas, then do you do a minimum of 20 minutes on each affected area. Now we have people who are using 20 minutes for the whole body. And after a week, two weeks, come back to you and tell you, I've been using this device for the last two weeks, even one month, I do not see any reaction, all right? Reason, when we ask them, what have you been doing? Can you please explain what you have been doing to yourself? They tell you in 20 minutes, I've been blowing the whole body. And when we ask them, why did you do that? No, my upline told me to blow for 20 minutes, all right? So the information must be passed on correctly. That is 20 minutes on each affected area. So then you start doing seeing results. So the same person, when he was told that he has to blow for 20 minutes for each affected area, after three days, he calls back and tells, yes, now I'm seeing something. I can see the changes, right? Because it takes some time for things to work in the tissues of your body, right? So they need about at least 20 minutes for that water inside for the, to, un to be unclustered, to be energized, and to get into the cells and make and activate them, right? To make them work. So you need to spend that much time. Minimum, I didn't say maximum. Now, these are the five chakra or reflex for your points you might want to blow. Uh, first of all, the palms, the two palms, you can blow on the palms for about five minutes of each palm, and then the soles of your feet, all right? So you might want to blow five minutes each, and then the crown. So do you know why we do that? What is the reason for doing this, all right? Now many people will be wondering, why do I have to do this? Uh, basically what's happening is, your body has a body field. The Chinese call it qi. Now this qi needs to travel in and out of the body, and they travel through the palms, the soles of the feet, and the ground. So if they are blocked somewhere, then there's going to be an entire block in the body and they create problems for you. That's all right. Now imagine if you're going somewhere on the highway and suddenly there's a crash somewhere and all the cars are stranded. They cannot get to where they are going. All right. Similarly, this is the area, these are the areas uh, most of the blocks uh, happen, uh, the palms of the hand, the soles of the feet and the crown. So unblock them whenever you can and you'll find that your body feel is smoothly going in and out and uh, you have less problem for yourself, all right? And then we look at the lymph nodes, all right? As we look at the lymph nodes, the five areas which you might want to look into, uh, the elbow pit, uh, the arm pit, the knee pit, the groin, and the neck. Why would we want to blow on these areas? What is so special about these areas? And what is so special about the lymph nodes? Now, first of all, the lymph nodes help with the lymphatic system. As you know, the lymphatic system is uh, the, the way by which uh, the body removes toxins and waste, unwanted material from the body. So if you are going to blow on these areas, then your lymphatic system is definitely going to improve and you'll see a lot of waste being cleared from your body and your body is definitely going to get healthier and healing will become faster. Your recovery will be faster, all right? So imagine if you are in a housing estate and there's a lot of rubbish around there and you start uh, wanting to do something in your garden. Now it's going to be gross smelling, smelling and the smell is going to be crossed and you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to come out of your house, all right? Now, once it's all clear, now it's pleasant to be outside, okay? Now, similarly, if you clear your body of all the toxins and waste, a lot of recovery is going to happen much faster, okay? Now, why do we blow in these areas? Now, let's look first at the neck. Now, this neck uh, caters for the entire head, all right? So it takes care of, the, of uh, removing toxins and waste from the area around the head. Now, when you come to the elbow pit, they take care of your arms. 
left and right. And when you look at the knee feet, uh, this is behind. Uh, so it takes care of your legs, right? The entire, uh, your entire legs. And then when you come to the arm feet, and what happens is it takes part of the uh, higher torso, higher part of the torso. And when you look at the groins, they take, they take care of the lower part of the torso. So what you have here is the entire body has got their uh, lymphatic system going and the removal of waste and toxins from the entire body. All right, each of them play a part in uh, different areas of the body. So that is why we blow on the lymph nodes. All right, next, now this is the lymphatic drainage map and this is the main lymph nodes, all right? Okay, now besides that, we also have the meridian channels. Now what happens is when you blow on them, you're activating your, uh, all your organs in the body, all right? And you blow, and you blow here, you're going to activate the organs in your body. So basically what you're doing is, you're getting your energy going, you're getting, removing your the waste uh, in your system, and now you're getting your lungs going, getting them all activated, right? So your body will react to that very well. Right. Now, let's look at how we can blow. First of all, we can do it in circles, right? Now, when people, are, people ask, I have heard of people saying, I was told that I need to blow anti-clockwise. Uh, is it true? Uh, then, uh, you know, basically what we tell them is, now, if you are following some other methods of uh, treatment, they might very well tell you only anti-clockwise or only clockwise, all right? If you're following that treatment, please follow the practitioner. That's what he says. And when it comes to eye terror care, basically what we're interested in is getting the terahertz energy into your tissues, into your body, right? We are not worried. We do not want to know about the other method. So basically, we just we are just interested in getting the terahertz energy into our body and into our tissues. So whether you blow anti-clockwise or you blow clockwise, it is still definitely going to get into your tissues, right? In small circles, and you can also blow vertically or horizontally. And you can use a combination of the three ways, right? In circular mode, vertical or horizontal, right? As long as it is focusing on the areas where you have a problem. And don't focus on one area. For example, it's your knee. Don't just focus there. And then it might, there, there might be a case where it might be too hot in that place and might cause, cause balls, right? Just move it around up and down, left and right, you should be fine, all right? Next, we look at some specific problems, right? Now, people who have a headache, know, you know your problem, right? Know your problem. Get to know what happens in the body and you cannot go wrong, all right? And people ask, why, how is it that it is helping with headache? Now, first of all, there could be blood vessels, nerves in the body which are constricted, which have hardened, right? So they may not be supplying enough blood to areas in the head where it is wanted. So we first clear those and then we also improve the immune system. Now this is basically more the immune system. It also improves the immune system. And at the same time after that, we also blow the neck. So why the neck? This is by which the blood travels to the head, right? If the, the bless, if the vessels here are not functioning well, then not enough blood is going to go up to your head. And that's where you run into problems. And when you clear that, then you find that you're fine, headache disappears. Uh, not only headache, uh, people with migraine, people who have been suffering from migraine for many years are finding that it's helping them. I know people who have migraine for so many years, and after having used this, they find, it, they find that it has gone forever till now, right? Uh, the, the reason being, now we have 
normal blood flow into your head. So know where, what is the problem, you will definitely overcome that, right? And uh, people are also finding that they can sleep better and they blow onto the head. Now, uh, another thing is, uh, there are two categories for people. One is those who, when they use this in their head, they find that it is so, I mean, uh, it's good for them, it's helping them with their sleep. Now, there's another category where they become activated and uh, they find that they are restless and they can't sleep because they're too active. So they're worried. So now if you have that problem and you fall into the second category, probably you can stop doing by about 8, 8.30 in the evening, right? So then your body, the cells in the head do not get activated and it should be okay for you, right? Now those who enjoy better sleep uh, after blowing and you carry on as you were, okay? So now that's about a headache. Now, what we're doing is basically we're choosing a few specific problems here and there, uh, which most people uh, have problems with. Now, hair problems. Now, basically, if the uh, scalp, the, the roots of the hair, the follicles, they're still there, then blowing on them should be helping you. Now, I, in my case, right, now I've already lost those roots, in, uh, those, those follicles, right? So, once they are dead, then it's going to be impossible to revive them. And this device came a little bit too late for me. So anyway, for those of you who still have those root follicles, if you're going to blow on them, then it's definitely going to help you, right? So you can blow on the neck for 20 minutes, then the kidneys, back and front of stomach and spleen area for 20 minutes, and then for the head for 20 minutes. Now, if you do not have time, go directly to the head. That's where the problem is, right? Go directly on the head and it should still work. Now, many people are now using the eye character device as a blower. They are done away with their old blowers, which is only blowing heat and also causing them more problems. Now, people are complaining of a hair loss and a, what do you call it, hair thinning. But now, on using this device, what they're finding is the hair is now getting thicker, shinier, and uh, there's no more thinning in the areas. It's coming back to what it was, right? So use this device, it's like a blower, and as you blow, also blow on the scalp area, okay? And when the scalp, where the root follicles, roots and follicles are, uh, they get uh, activated, then you're definitely going to have strong hair. And there's going to be less hair falling, right? Uh, so compare with what's happening now and compare in the month after using this. Right. Next is the face, okay? Now you can also start with blowing on the neck and, uh, and the entire back for 25 minutes if you want to regulate the viscera, then to the face for 20 minutes, right? But if you do not have time, go directly to the face. Now on the face, uh, we would advise you to do to use the low level, right? Low heat, okay? Because the eyes are there and the skin could be a little bit tender. So use the low, it works as well, right? And uh, if you have lenses, then uh, try to avoid your eyes because we do not want you to run into issues, okay? Otherwise, you're good to go. And people who have been using this for about a month, uh, basically, it will take about 38 days, so 30 to 40 days. Uh, if you're going to use this daily and even twice a day, you're definitely going to use, you look much younger, even up to 10 years or more, right? We have a lady in Malaysia who's 56 years old and she's, used, and she's looking 36 now. And many people are already looking much younger, right? And uh, if you come to the headquarters in Kuala Lumpur, uh, don't be fooled because many of them looking much younger now because of the eye therapy, right? Now, the eyes. Again, when it comes to the eyes, uh, a little bit of uh, caution, uh, having lenses, either contact lenses or lenses after cataract, 
try to avoid them. We would not want you to run into issues. Uh, otherwise, the rest of the face is fine. So again, you can blow to the back, uh, neck, back, and liver area uh, in the middle of the waist for 20 minutes, and then blow on the eyes for 25 minutes. But if you do not have time, go directly to your eyes, right? That has been helping people with glaucoma and uh, what do you call that? Uh, cataract, right? And the healing crisis, uh, normally you might have dry eyes or it could be itchy, right? That will be just temporary and then that will just pass. And then you're definitely going to uh, you have clearer eyes. Now, another thing which may happen is, now for those who are especially wearing glasses or contact lenses, now what will happen is, uh, before this, you will find that uh, over time, uh, the, 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 your, 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 your power in the glass, uh, glasses will slowly move up because your eyes are getting worse. Now what will happen is, uh, what's happening is, uh, people are getting better eyesight, but the glasses now have to follow going down because otherwise, if you still remain with that power, you're going to find that it's still not clear to you. It's not because it's getting worse, but because your eyes are getting better, right? So it's the other way around. And people with uh, astigmatism are also finding it's helping them. I, for one, uh, from my school days, right? I've been having uh, astigmatism on both eyes, which was above three, around 3.5 to 3.75. And all through this time, I had no uh, way of bringing it down. But now, with this Itera care, the last I went and checked, it has gone below three. Now, that is uh, of immense uh, importance to me because when it is above three, your glasses need to be custom made, right? And it will take longer to come back to you. But when it is below three, first of all, they have the samples there. And secondly, it is definitely much cheaper, right? So those with astigmatism, if they are looking at cheaper glasses in the future, work on them, right? Now, the shoulder and neck problems, okay? You might want to start with your uh, palms and then your soles, and then go on to work on your neck, shoulders, and arms, all right? Now, if you do not have the time, of course, jump straight to your neck and shoulders. Now, why do we blow this? Why, why, what's, what's the reason of blowing the palms and the soles? As I said earlier, there might be some of you who might be having the shoulder problems because of the flow or the body feel, right? It's not flowing smoothly. It is not able to come in and go out smoothly, right? So because of that, uh, it is giving you problems. So when you clear and block the pathways, and then you blow on these areas, you find that the flow is better, and the area in that place also improves, and people find relief, all right? And uh, well, this is what people suffer from. Lots of people are suffering from this, especially elderly, right? So when you see them, they cannot lift their hand. We feel real pity for them. Now, this is a person I met uh, in one of the places which I, I, I went to. Uh, he is a naturopathy doctor. So now he, uh, we met just before the start of the talk and he told me that he had a lump on the left of his tummy, right? And this lump has been there for eight years. And uh, he had tried various methods, allopathy, non-allopathy, and it has not gone, and there is some pain there. So what I suggested here, he doesn't have the he didn't have the device before this. So I said, okay, this is a good time to try if this thing works. So what we did was we started blowing on this, and I made him blow on himself. Right. So after about 20 to 30 minutes, he came and he said, I don't feel the lump there anymore and I don't feel the pain. This is shocking to me. I just cannot believe that. I've been having that for eight years, right? Not, not what I said, it's what he said. 
And then his shoulder, he had a shoulder pain, which has been there for one and a half years till the time we met, all right? So he said he also tried various methods. So then we set to work on his shoulders. After about 20 to 30 minutes, he could lift his arm much higher. The pain has uh, subsided. There was still pain and he couldn't really fully lift it fully, but it was definitely better than what it was before. And it was only one session. And also, as I told earlier, we have not worked on the palms, all right? The flow on the crown, all right? For this area and also along the arm, we were just focusing on the shoulder where the problem was. So then after this, definitely he's going to try uh, doing you know, in the entire area and I'm sure he's going to feel much better. So seeing is believing. Now people with skin problems, right? This could be a suggestion as to how you might blow. Uh, it, it might take a little bit longer, 60 to 90 minutes. Uh, so these are the areas you might want to work on. But I have to tell you that the charged water is also, it, it also plays a very important part because basically what's happening is you have this problem because the body is unable to remove toxins and waste from the body. So you need that water to get rid of all the toxins and waste. And besides that, you also have to blow on your lymph nodes, activate your lymph nodes so that those lymph nodes can clear more waste, all right? Besides blowing in this area, okay? So now when you start doing that, you're definitely going to see changes. Now look, looking at this, uh, this is how it was before, right? And this is how the person is presently after having used Aitara care. And this is another person. Look at his face. Now we are so happy for him. Right? It has changed. Okay? Definitely he looks more handsome now. Right? And uh, this lady, look at her face now. Okay? So it's definitely helping people with their skin. Okay? Now people with pimples might find that their pimples increase initially before getting uh, rid of it completely. Because when you are blowing and using the water, toxins are coming out in bigger numbers, all right? So they might show as pimples, more pimples. But when you just follow through with it, then it clears up, all right? And another word of advice, please do not pinch on your pimples. Because when you pinch, when they start healing, then you have pock marks, holes on your face, right? We definitely wouldn't want that. The body will take care of it. Do not worry. You may look a little bit not beautiful just for a short time, okay? And then you're going to be looking very good. Trust me, all right? Now gout, people with gout, they are finding a relief by using this. Again, you might want to do on your palms and then on your soles then your back area because they are affecting all the organs. Now, if you know, uh, the organs are all interlinked, all right? They all need to play a part. It's just not, not one organ, but all the organs. Okay, when they all start working together, then you're definitely going to see relief. And then you go on to the pain areas, right? They're mostly at the soles, huh? And uh, at the ankles and the joints, right? So you might want to do that. But if you do not have time, go directly to the areas where you're affected. It does work. But if you do this method, then it works even better. All right? So see what is convenient for you. Okay? And people are definitely finding lots of relief. Okay? Now, obesity, weight loss, and water retention. Now, people find that uh, it's also helping them with that. People are losing weight and uh, what do you call that? The water retention in most people is clearing up. Now, what's happening is it's a very vicious cycle. What will happen is now presently with the present water which you are drinking, uh, the water doesn't really get to get inside of the cells. So they cannot activate the cells. So when they cannot activate the cells, the cells are unable to do what they do best. 
remove the water, right? Secondly, the hormones which are there. So what will happen is when it, it, it cannot remove the water, uh, you, are, you will be asked to drink less water. When you drink less water, the body has less water to work on. And when you have less water to work on, the hormones are going to have a problem sending messages throughout the body asking to remove the water. Now the hypothalamus might tell the kidneys, there's too much water, please remove. And the message is not going to come through because there is less water in the body. So the cycle goes on. So now when you start charging the water and you drink the water, the water starts entering into your cells and bringing the energy which the cells need. So what happens is your cells become activated. They start removing the water, the water retention, which was there, all right? And now, as you add more water, you increase the water gradually, the hormones start working better. So the hypothalamus sends the message, the hormones are able to take it to the kidney and they start removing the excess water. So your water retention is gone, all right? Now this is happening, and this is not theory, but this is already happening, all right? So for those of you who have this problem, have trust, start slowly. If you're instructed to drink 500 milliliters, start with 500 milliliters, and you're comfortable with that, slowly increase. You will find that over a period of time, you will be drinking easily 1.5 to 2 liters. And then once you're comfortable with that, you're definitely going to go beyond. And then you will see that now, with the water into the body, all the systems start working and things are going to improve for you. Right? Now, this is another case, thanks to Mr. Manoj Walia. Uh, the pictures are uh, courtesy of Mr. Manoj Walia. So, this person on the 9th of February 2022, and today, uh, 5th of April 2022, the changed person. All right? And again, this person before, this is how he was. And now 25 kilograms less. Okay, so it's definitely helping people with their weight loss. There are many more cases. It's also helping people who are having problems with their cellulite. All right, as you look here, and then this, and then here. So it's definitely helping to remove all those uh, unwanted cellulite in the body. Okay, so start blowing on them, and it's going to dissolve those. Cellulite. And uh, people with diabetes are finding relief from diabetes by using this. And this could be a method which you might want to use, starting with your palms, your soles, and then your arms, and then your legs, and uh, all those, right? Now, if you have, do not have time, huh, what you do is you go straight to your pancreas. Now, this is where the pancreas are. This is where you need the help uh, um, most, all right? So focus on those areas and drink the water. Drink lots of that water. It's definitely going to help you. And uh, it'll take some time. People have even taken from anywhere from six months to 12 months with diabetes, but it's definitely helping them. It's just bringing down uh, the, the, the numbers, all right? And uh, for the kidneys, People are going for dialysis, also finding that it's helping them. People who used to have four hours uh, to do the dialysis are finding that you can do it in three hours now, all right? Because the viscosity has gone down and uh, more waste has been removed by the body before going for dialysis. And then people who have been going for three times a week are finding that it's slowly coming down and the creatinine level is definitely coming down. The thing is, you need to blow on your kidneys and also you need to drink that water, all right? You have to drink. And definitely people with kidney problems, I'm gonna tell you, you know, I have a water retention problem. I cannot drink much water. Yes, you can start with the amount of water which you're drinking now. If you're drinking 500 milliliters, start at 500 milliliters you'll find that the water retention will slowly go down, right? And when you're comfortable with the 500 milliliters, slowly increase. 
and slowly work yourself up. Take your time, maybe two weeks, even one month at that particular amount of water. All right? And it's definitely going to help you. And people ask, how do I blow? Now, basically, if you look at this chart, now basically for a person who is quite healthy, so you're going to bring yourself to become even healthier. So you're going to blow on your chakra points. You're going to blow on your lymph nodes and you're going to blow on your meridians. So it covers the entire body, your body field, and your waste uh, removal system, and also all your connected uh, organs, right? They're activating them day by day. Okay, so you can do this. Or if you have a problem, then you might want to look at where your problem is, the points which might help you more, and focus on those areas. Or again, the soles of your feet and palms, right? Might be of help to you. So you can focus on them and definitely it's going to help you as well. And uh, some people are more comfortable with blowing directly onto the organ which is affected. Now, if you have a kidney problem, you might want to blow directly onto the kidneys and it still works, right? So there is no one way do whatever is comfortable for you and works for you, right? Best, right? So try, try. And uh, people also ask, I am a practitioner of uh, acupuncture. So how do I use this device? Well, for example, right? Now people are working it together, right? That means they are combining, they're combining it and it's working very well, okay? They're combining whatever they are doing Whatever they have been doing is super good. Whatever method they have been using is super good. But what's happening is with this combination, people are seeing better results. Okay? It's taking care of the entire body. Right? So, many uh, alternative doctors are now using it together with whatever they are practicing. Right? Now, health is natural. Disease is unnatural, right? So the body is always trying to become natural. So you have to help your body come back to natural. Now, you might be taking all kinds of things. You might be taking supplements. You might be taking medication. Yes, they are all going to help you. But at the very base of it, you need that water. Get into your cells to activate the cells so that the energy in the cells, only then they start working and everything else which you are doing starts working, right? And the body is always waiting to bring you back to natural. And when they come back to natural, disease has got no place in those areas, okay? Now help your body, help your body to become natural, right? So with that, I thank you again. I'm Soma from Malaysia. Thank you very much. Hope this session has been helpful for all those people who have been wanting to know uh, as to how to use the eye care and maximize uh, their recovery for good health. All right? With that, I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Yeah, thank you very much to, to our product advisor, Mr. Soma Sundram, for sharing with us the steps of using ITRA care and also the points that we should use to blow to each other to get the most benefits out from the device. So I hope so you guys on the line have learned so much from Mr. Soma. So I will take the opportunity to thank Mr. Soma once again for sharing with us the steps and also answering all the questions. And for our friends who are the very first time together with us that heard about the first time ITRA care. I strongly encourage you at least to have a chance to try and experience this problem by yourself. And if you require more information about the device or ITRA care, kindly contact the person we invited to you to this uh, today's uh, sharing. And also do not forget to visit our ITRA care channel in YouTube to get more information about that. Well, that's all for the sharing for today. So hope to see you next time in the end. Meanwhile, stay safe, stay healthy. I wish you all the best. May God bless you all. Thank you and bye-bye. Good night, thank you, and bye-bye.